Reef DVM's coming at you here with a comparison kind of thing between two HANA checker testers. The regular phosphate for any aquarium versus the marine phosphorus ultra low checker. Some people keep coming to me saying, why do I want to test one versus another? What's the difference between them? The difference is very, very simple, and I tried to kind of explain that in the side-by-side -side test here. First, I took some aquarium water um, from my tank, um, and we're going to use that for the sample. And we're going to run each test unit side-by-side -side properly and show you the difference in how they measure. One of them measures phosphorus. The other one measures phosphate. Um, the phosphorus one uses a 736 packet. Um, the phosphate one uses a 713 packet. So you cannot intermix the packages. Um, they're designed each um, for each machine. And basically what you do at the beginning is you calibrate it with your salt water. So you push the button. It says C1. Then you put your um, salt water in the little device and push it again. And it calibrates itself. And since these samples are from the same tubes in the same tank, um, they're going to calibrate here very quickly. And then it'll say add C2. But before you can actually add C2, you have to open the little vigil packet and uh, pour it in and then shake it up for two minutes. And we're going to do that for each one of these. The thing that most people don't understand is that, yes, your aquarium does need some phosphorus in the form of phosphate for things to exist. But even a little too much, and boom, algae goes crazy in our reef aquariums. So Hannah does have this, you know, phosphate checker. But they also make a marine ultra-low phosphorus checker. And that's what we're comparing here to. And the reason that's kind of nice is because every phosphate ion, ion excuse me, is made up of four oxygen molecule, molecules and a phosphorus. Plus, when you're actually measuring... Uh, what's in a tank, it's very easy to try to measure inorganic phosphate molecules, but it's much harder sometimes to get a good appreciation for the organic phosphorus molecules. So hopefully with the ultra-low machine here, you'll get a good idea as to why I like to use that versus the phosphate um, HANA checker. It just does a better job of, of giving me a more accurate result by detecting more of the phosphorus and giving me a more true reading. So I've shaken these both up for a couple minutes and now we stick them back in the testers. You push and hold the button and it'll give you a three minute countdown which is what you want. So again I'm going to do that for both of these. Again running the same water sample in each with each of their test packets that they're designed for and then you're going to see here what we get for different results. Um, the phosphate checker that Hannah puts out has an accuracy but it's not as good of an accuracy as the ultra low phosphorus one so if you're picking up your phosphorus and you're not picking up your phosphate it might lead you to think at least at the beginning that hey your tanks fine but remember if there's phosphorus in the water column it's going to attach to oxygen and it's going to become phosphate one of the reasons that sometimes your phosphate will look low on the HANA checker is because all the algae is consuming it and henceforth you're looking at your HANA checker going I don't have any phosphates but the algae is still continuing to grow in my tank like crazy well when you take it and run the phosphorus ultra low checker you'll find out that there's more phosphorus in the tank than what you're expecting so again we're going to run these two side by side here it takes about three minutes and at the end of the three minutes you'll see what they each detected in the same water sample that we're using um, from the same tank and I think what's interesting is is that I've ran this test about 30 40 times um, at my own personal expense and I can tell you almost every time um, the phosphate standard checker that most people use only picks up about half of the phosphate ions that the phosphorus will pick up when it's duck checking for ultra low phosphorus. In other words, what I mean is basically the phosphate level that you're going to get on that checker will be about half what you're going to find for the phosphorus level on the other checker. Um, I've talked to Hannah about this. I've seen him at the trade shows. I've talked to him at MACNA 2012 here just recently. And again, they come back with the same reasons. 
inorganic phosphate ions, big, large, and bulky, easy to detect within reason, but there's a large error in the machine up to 0 0.01, easy, um, all the way up, up to 0 0.04 versus the phosphorus ultra low checker um, is checking for just the phosphorus. It doesn't have as inaccurate of a problem picking it up because of how the test is designed and the accuracy hence is better and the fact that you're dealing with an organic compound versus an inorganic compound. So in my mind, um, as you can see by how these tests run, since they're both very easy to run and people get their choice as to which one to buy, when it comes to the marine aquarium, again, I'm not talking freshwater, when it comes to the marine aquarium, I have my clients invest in the phosphorus ultra low um, checker versus the phosphate. Here we go. The phosphate here, what did it give us on this sample? Uh, it gave us 0 0.03 parts per million. Uh, 0 0.03 parts per million. And let's see here, the ultra low phosphorus checker is in parts per billion, by the way, so it actually checks lower. And it gave us 57. So that means it's 0 0.057 parts per million. Almost, again, twice as much um, phosphorus picked up on the phosphorus ultra low range tester than what the phosphate ion one picked up. My basic conclusion here is simple folks. If you really want to know what's going on in your tank, certainly you have both. Um, so you can compare back and forth. But the phosphorus ultra low checker out of the HANA checker series is the best way to go. Because again, the HANA checkers are nice, they work great, but again I can't speak highly enough for the fact that the phosphorus ultra low does a better job. Thanks for watching, folks, and I appreciate it. Subscribe or like to our channel, and we'll continue to put out great videos like this. Thank you.